Would yes, you? the Grandel Sharp rule was a nice idea, but it doesn't work. And I'll give you, if I may, one example of how that doesn't work. Second Thessalonians 1.12, which reads, So that the name, that's the authority and the power and presence of our Lord Jesus, will be glorified in you, Christians, and you Christians in Christ, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there's no repetition of the article there, but they obviously should be understood separately. So the Granville rule doesn't always work. It's not an infallible rule. According to the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, the Greek says, that's not a reference to one person. Clearly, the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's proper to add the article which is actually not in the Greek, but the sense of it is required there. It's not our God who is also the Lord Jesus Christ. That would confuse everything imaginable. So I think the simple answer to our question here is that the Granville Sharp rule is demonstrably not always true. But the other one about the divine passive is simply observable. It's obvious in so many cases that something is said to be done in the passive. It was done, it was created, and the implication it was, it was done by God. So that would be a divine passive. That's just observing facts, I think. And we make a difference there in verse 16. In Messiah, one of the top Greek authorities, the Molten Milligan Grammar, they suggest that the N, the preposition there, is causal. So let's translate, because of him, Jesus, all things were created, that's a single event in the past, by God. The divine passive is implied there. It's not a special rule, but it's obvious, were created by God, not by Jesus. Because of him, all things were created by God things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. And he's talking about thrones and authorities and powers and rulers, not necessarily about birds and bees and human beings, but about authorities were created with Jesus in mind, in him, because of him. Then he goes on to say, all things have been created. And it's a subtle point, but he changes the verb tense there. Have been created means have been created and are now being created through Jesus. That's the present creation. So let me repeat that. Verse 16, the original creation was because of Jesus, and that creation was by God. So the divine passive works well there. But the present creation, all things have been created. The verb changes its tense, and that means are being created, really. Have and continuously are being created through Jesus, not in this case because of him, but actually through him. So that's fine. Everything to do with the present creation is the work of God through Jesus. That makes perfect sense. Uh, it's an interesting conundrum then, because if you're saying that the Greek here, the, mm. the biblical language of the mm -hmm. New Testament, mm -hmm. says that all things were created by someone else, not yes. the Son, then that obviously should destroy the both notions of pre-existence uh, when you also say that the end is causal there in yes. verse 16, yes. and it should destroy the teaching that many believe Jesus is also somehow the creator. Well, so, absolutely. Of course, we're saying that because on the basis of absolutely transparently clear statements in Isaiah, the famous one, you know, Isaiah 44, 24, this is what the Lord, your protector, says, the one who formed you in the womb. I am Yahweh. Jehovah, if you like, doesn't matter how you pronounce that in Hebrew. I'm Yahweh, the Lord God, who made everything, who alone stretched out the sky, who fashioned the earth all by myself. Read that to your two-year-old. They have no problem with it. That doesn't sound as though the sun was there doing the creating with him. So all we're doing is harmonizing these really not difficult things. If you start in the Old Testament, God was the sole unaided, unaccompanied creator in the Genesis account. Jesus is clearly the co-creator in the new creation. All things are now being done through Jesus in the new creation. That works very well, and we don't have all these brain-breaking arguments about who Jesus was and who God was. <laughs>